aunties, uncles, nieces, nephews, cousins, friends. So look here. You know what I noticed, y'all? That even during a holiday, which was supposed to be a time for joy and merry and festivities and being with our families and just not engaging in certain activities over the weekend and even on the holiday, we see that certain parties and certain pages were still at it. Now, I'm not going to give this party the satisfaction of sharing certain things uh, or even talking about the cap uh, um, with gifts and, and ponies and we know what it is but what I find really really disturbing is that we can release an audio of a child talking to an alleged therapist now here's my issue with this now in the beginning um, this person is repeatedly saying she's not ready she's not ready so why are we here because if she's not ready there has been there should have been no reason for the past months weeks for herself or pages to post that he's not getting his child. He's not seeing his child. I asked him to get his child. Then why are we here? Because you know that she's not ready, correct? So then why would you even try to make those two in the past be around one another? Why was there such an anger of those two not seeing each other since I believe the date that's always been discussed is May? Why? Because she's not ready, correct? We shouldn't even be here. And here's my other thing with this with this release and why it's so dangerous and why certain things just have to be pursued because there's many questions with that and you have to ask yourself one were you allowed to record this session did this alleged therapist grant consent what is the name of this therapist is there a consent form in which this audio can be shared on social media are you always present during the child's therapy session? Has the child not been able to speak freely with this therapist, allegedly? Because if so, that is not conducive to a successful therapy session because the client and the therapist should have these moments where they can speak alone in this alleged released audio. This is very dangerous of how this was released. And what could happen is, let's just say if someone doesn't pursue it, just a judge alone that's residing over the case, if there's cases, would see this and say, you know what, based on what I've heard and what I've seen, I don't want anyone posting anything concerning this child again. And at this point, I feel like that's what needs to happen. Because there was no reason for that. I, as a, a person covering the story, I don't want to hear that child in an alleged therapy session. I don't want to hear that. That's not my business. That's not the world's business. That's something very private, especially if it's a part of healing. Your healing journey is that of a private one, a spiritual one. And if this child is allegedly traumatized, the world does not need to invade on her privacy and the parent should not release said private alleged session. This breaks so many rules and violations with just releasing that. It's not even funny. At this point, in my opinion, the judge needs to order court ordered therapy sessions and one of two things need to occur. Either it needs to be court ordered that the child and child alone speaks with the therapist or court ordered that both parents are mandated by the court to be present during both court ordered sessions because if not, it's never going to be a success. Especially if this is what's occurring in these alleged sessions. Now it's been what, maybe two weeks, I think, since I've done a video on this because certain actions, in my opinion, need to be taken. So there's no reason for me to discuss certain matters. I'm not going to change it. My voice isn't going to change it because it's spiraled out of control. You know what I'm saying? So to that, I, I wish parties well because listening to that was extremely concerning. As always, make sure to like, comment, follow, and subscribe.